All right, Honors Algebra 2, welcome to your second video for a 7577 game plan. Now, before we do these next sections, I want to make sure that you have gotten these notes down. The College Algebra Properties of Logarithmic Functions notes, these were already in a separate video. So if you have not watched that video, you need to go back and watch it. It's in the Homeschool 2020 playlist. It's in the College Algebra Fall 2019 and uh, and Beyond playlist. Anyway, these notes were already put up there a few days ago. If you don't have them, you need to pause this video and go get them because this is going bye-bye now. All right, so here's what we're going to do. As you know from before, and first off, everything is log, log base 6, log base 6. This is not going to be x plus x minus 9 equals 2. i got to combine these logs together. And in the log world, addition means multiplication. That is the product property. I multiply those two together. I can combine them to be log base 6 of x times x minus 9, which is log base 6 of x squared minus 9x. Now, this is the base, 6. This is the exponent, and this is what we call the answer. So 6 squared equals x squared minus 9x. That's 36. It needs to be moved over to the other side. you got a factor. What multiplies 36 differs by 9, a negative 12 and a positive 3. Set that equal to 0. I get two answers, x equals negative 3, x equals 12 from the section 7, 4. You know that you got to take those and... Be like laid, plug it in, plug it in. Log base 6 of negative 3 is undefined, but log base 6 of 12 is bueno. You can plug it in right there. Negative 3 won't work, but 12 will. So x equals 12 is the true winner. Those are a little bit hard, not going to lie. 2. Everything is log base 7. And again, it is not 2x equals 27 plus 3. Nope. First off, you have the power property. Bring this up as an exponent. That would be log a 7 of x squared equals, in the log world, addition means multiplication, so 27 times 3, log base 7 of 81 is what we got there. I have log base 7 of x squared equals log base 7 of 81. That means x squared has got to be equal to 81. It means x is 9 or negative 9. Obviously, log base 7 of negative 9 is undefined. 9 is my only true answer. All right, number three is almost identical to number one. You guys can do that. Literally almost identical. I will do four with you. Log base three, log base three, log base three. Okay, this is the quotient property in the log world. Subtraction means division. You're going to have log base three of 56 divided by x equals log base three of seven. Log base three of blank equals log ba base three of blank. So this... Must be equal to this. 56 over 7 equals x. Cross multiply. 7x equals 56. x is 8. Log base 3 of 8 is a valid number. It is not undefined. So that is a winner. Then, take a look at 5. Now, I technically don't need base 10 there. That is implied. But log base 10 of x plus log base 10 of x plus 21 equals 2. Going to combine these two logs again. Addition means multiplication in the log world. It's going to be log base 10 of x times x plus 21, which is x squared plus 21x. Again, this is the base. This is the exponent. That's my answer. 10 squared equals x squared plus 21x. Again, pause this. Write this down several times. Folks are going to have to kind of like teach yourself some things too. All right. So, that is 100. I need to move the 100 over. When I have a middle term, I got a factor. Got to set it equal to 0 for sure. We'll multiply this to 100. Differs by 21. That is 25 and negative 4. I get x equals, cover up method, negative 25 and 4. Plug it into the log base 10 of x. You can't have log a negative 25, but you can have a log of 4. All right. And that is the winner, x equals 4. x equals negative 25 is extraneous. Uh, number 6 here in the log world. Again, I got log base 10, log base 10, log base 10. 
Again, that's the same thing as saying like log of 18. Log base 10 of 18 is log of 18. 10 is the implied base on your calculator. Subtraction means division in the log world. It's going to be log base 10 of 81 over 3x equals log base 10 of 2. 81 over 3x equals 2. Or 18, I'm sorry, 18 over 3x equals 2. 6x equals 18. X is 3. 7. You guys can do 7. Seven's pretty easy. All right. I believe in. In fact, 7 is just like 8. I would do 8 with you. Then you can definitely do 7. Log base 3. Log base 3. Log base 3. Addition means multiplication in the log world. Log base 3 of 6x equals log base 3 of 12. 6x equals 12. X is 2. All right, all right, all right. That was a relatively challenging page, and we've got more here again. College algebra. All right. Log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of 5 equals 4. In the log world, addition means multiplication. That's going to be log base 2 of x times 5, or 5x equals 4. That means 2 to the 4th equals 5x. X is 3.2. That's Yogi. Somebody's probably outside. And, uh... Yogi was a rescue dog, so I'm going to blame his poor training elsewhere. Anyway, that's good. Log base 2 of a positive number is okay. Remember, you got to check. You got to check. Here's another trickier one. Um, in fact, you can stop short on this one. Log base 4 minus log... Oh, you know, I see what I did. I made a big boo-boo there. Good. Guys, this is subtraction. Subtraction means division in the law of the world. So what we're going to do, call an audible here. We're going to write this on this page. Well, this is f exciting. Okay, definitely did that one wrong. You have log base 4 of 2x plus 2 minus log base 4. You'll see it in a sec. x minus 2 is 3. Oh, I hear the young one arising. We're going to try to finish this quick. Subtraction in the log world means division. This is log base 4 of 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 equals 3. This might be the last one for us. That means 4 is the base, 3 is the exponent. 4 to the third is 2x plus 2 over x minus 2. You can hear on the monitor. All right, anyway, we're going to finish this one up real quick. That means 64 is equal to 2x plus 2 over x minus 2. Got to cross multiply here. 64. Elsie doesn't know we're making a video here. The Hawaiian is really killing it. Um, let's see if I did everything right there. We're going to get a weird answer. Not a great answer. Again, I could have made another mistake. Who knows? You get 130 over 62, which is a bueno. It's a little bit over 2. That is a bueno answer. Again, that is division. All right. Um, let's do 13 real quick. She could put herself to bed. Let's see on the baby monitor. She is up. <laughs> anyway, log base. Bring the 3 up as an exponent. Log base 2 of x to the 3rd equals log base 2 of 8. That means x to the 3rd has got to be equal to 8. x is 2. Now you can see the little turd on the baby monitor. Maybe she should go back to bed. We'll see. Anyway, uh, take a look at number 11, folks. Log, holy cow, lots going on. So first off, that means division. Plus log base 7 to 2. Uh-oh, looks like she's going back to sleep, folks. We lucked out. Equals log base 7 to 4x. All right. Look at that. She's back down, folks. Infant optics. Great baby monitor to buy. It is not 74 degrees up there. I promise it's always on the uh, high end. It is a nice 70 up there. Okay. FYI. Don't report me to authorities. Anyway, um, believe it or not, but 64 divided by 8 thirds is 24. Okay. 
Then it's like order of operation, operations, do that division first, then do the multiplication in the log world. Addition means multiplication, so that's how why 24 times 2 is 48. Log base 7 of 48 equals log base 7 of 4. 4x equals 48, x is 12. Plug 12 back in. That's great. All right. Now, this is base 10. That's base 10, FYI. That's the implied base. This is log base 10 of x squared minus 6x equals 2. All right, addition, addition means multiplication. 10 squared is x squared minus 6. You can go from there. I'm sure one of the answers will be extraneous. It looks like possibly, what do you get, 100? What multiplies to, well, let's do this one. Ooh, folks. What multiplies, this one doesn't look great. What multiplies to 100 and differs by, yeah. Again, plus, that does mean multiplication this time. It differs by six, no bueno. 100 is 25 and four, 50 and two, 20 and five, obviously 10 and 10. So you're gonna need, just write this down, quadratic equation to finish. Okay, so good thing we caught that. Just write that down. Okay, that one will not factor. What are you going to get? Like uh, root 436? Ooh. Involved there. Anyway, good thing we caught that one. In the log world, addition or subtraction means division. Log base 2 of x minus 1 divided by 3 is 5. That means 2 is the base, 5 is the exponent. 2 to the 5th equals x minus 1 over 3. 32 equals x minus 1 over 3. Cross multiply. 32 times 3 is 96, and that is what x minus 1 is. x is 97. All right, I do want to finish this page with you. This is probably, probably the hardest section in this game plan. Divide everything by 2 first, okay? Or you can call it x squared, but you might just divide everything by 2. That means that this is easy. 3 to the 4th is x. You did plenty of those in your last game plan. And 16 in the log world. Subtraction means division. Log base 3 of x plus 4 divided by 5 equals 2. That means 3 to the second is x plus 4 over 5. There you go. x is 41. All good. Again, if you plug 41 in here, you get log base 3 of a positive, which is defined. All right, let's see what we got coming up. <clears throat> yeah, we're actually going to, I'm going to give you the answers here to page five and then probably make another video. State whether each equation is true or false. You got to show me why. So first off, work with this. In the log world, subtraction means division. So this would be log base eight of x divided by three. That is not the same thing. So it is false because of that. All right, so no matter what you want to do in the log world, addition means multiplication. So it would be log base 5 of 22 times x. They have the exact same thing. True. Now, this 19 is an exponent, so very false. 19x is not x to the 19th. All right, this... What, either way you can do it, you can make that an exponent, and then be log base 2 of x to the fifth, or you can bring this down. Remember, an exponent can be brought down. 5 log 2 of x equals 5 log 2 of x. No matter how you write it, it's true. You guys can do 21. You always make more noise. You've got noise everywhere. I think you guys can do 22 as well. That is log base 4 of 2. Take a look at 23. So yes, this is an exponent, it will come down, but this means that there are four log, log base eight of x's. It's not the same thing. That's your, like, this would, well, let's talk here. Let's see the difference. Before we just, notice how you're multiplying four straight of them. Here it would be like your adding four straight of them. So before I say false, 
I want you to see the difference. I have four of them together through multiplication, whereas here I have four of them together through, I'm sorry, I have four of them together through addition, whereas here I have four of them together through multiplication. Three plus three plus three plus three is not three times three times three times three. They say it four times. Anyway, false. Okay, x to the fourth is different than the whole thing being raised to the fourth power. This next one, uh, something you can see on the ACT, these are, these are there. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to break this up by saying it is x squared times y to the third. So that would be log base 9 of x squared plus log base 9 of y to the third because you're dividing minus log base 9 of z to the fourth. Bring down the power, bring down the power bring down the power as exactly what you see on the right side. That is true. All right, I think that is a good place to stop. We will talk about the change of base uh, formula in the next video that I'll make shortly. This is Yak Math Video signing out.